I, I class, you know, I'm a blue collar acquisition guy. Yeah. Uh, and so there's mom and pops and then there's blue collar and then there's private equity. So we saw, and, and blue collar goes from maybe 1 million in revenue to five, maybe 10 million in revenue. And we saw the best return on investments in that low, at that low end range. So you could buy companies at that low end for two to three multiple with very little risk, high cash flow, very little risk, uh, very little working capital requirements. And so that was, that took less due diligence, uh, less appetite for risk, and more, and, and a, almost a guaranteed cash flow. So that's why we stayed at the low end for so long. Yeah. In, in addition, remember all of that restructuring we had to do from the, from the initial failures of, we had to get all that paid off. We were using the cash flows to pay that down. So we weren't generating a lot of excess cash. Uh, we, had, we were generating enough to do these small acquisitions because we, we never brought any outside investors in. And, and from then on, our model was always do 50% equity, 50% seller debt. So if, if, we're doing a, if we're doing a million dollar revenue business and it's generating somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 200,000 cash flow and we're going to buy it for, say, five or $600,000, we got to come up with the 250, 300,000 cash. And so we had, a, and, and we didn't borrow up beyond that. And so that's why we were in those ends. That's why we we're at that low end. Yeah. It's, we it's, still stay, we still are, we do not want to get into the private equity. We don't have any outside investors. And so now we see the standard of private equity radar. You have to be down into our, our current model. I'm jumping ahead down around th a three, uh, 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 5 million to 20 million in revenue and 1 million to 3 million in what I call free cash flow. 